and you knew when to sew it and your stitches are not coming out right or they are coming out this way then you have to watch this video to the end. I'm Jackie Setro and you're welcome to Setro Craft channel where I teach you fashion and sewing as easy as A and B and C. On this channel, I and my husband teach fashion using pattern and pre cutting for both male and female, yeah. Today, I want to be talking about thread tension. What is thread tension? Thread tension is a situation whereby there's a tension between your upper thread and lower or bobbin thread. And the stitches will not come out right when you have this situation. For the stitches to be right, they have to be the same. Incorrect stitches, incorrect tension can cause sloppy thread, uh, your thread being loose, your stitches being loose, your stitches falling off. And to correct this should not be any problem. So let's get started. Think of thread tension as a situation whereby you have a tug of war between your upper thread and your lower thread or your bobbin thread. So I decided to use the upper thread as blue and the bobbin thread as red. So I have three scenarios here. You can see scenario one, it's when your bobbin, as in your bobbin thread, the tension is too loose. You have it like so. You can see the stitches on the upper part will be loose and it will be packing on the wrong side on the reverse side so this is what causes this that means your tension is to lose the tension of the bobbin so it causes this then i have another scenario when your tension from the tension digs is too high can you see how this is the stitches will not come out well at all you can see it's pocky as in it's uh, uh and at times it's always gathering and the upper thread it's a tug of war between the lower thread because the tension is too high and as such it draws the lower thread up you can see that the red thread it's popping up so well so when you have a scenario like this chances are it that your tension from the tension digs is too high and you see so it's not gonna be fine at all. Then I have a third scenario where both are same. This is the right side. You can see the right stitches, the tension from the bobbin tension and the tension digs are okay. Although you could see the red a bit, but it's not from the right side and the wrong side. Yeah. When you look at your thread tension, make sure that your presser foot is half, just like so. And you check your bobbin it's good you start with your bobbin tension if your bobbin is such that it's on the machine it's chances of it that it may not have tension adjustment but for those that are always in this bobbin case you could adjust the bobbin uh the tension of your bobbin so and you do that from this so you have your bobbin like so and on your bobbin for this it's you can adjust the tension and you do that through this point here you see we have two screw points here you do that through this first word when you move to the left a bit and whatever adjustment you're doing on this point must be slightly this is what creates when your tension is to the left it means the tension is loose and to the right when you go a bit to the right it tightens the tension this loose tension this is what it's gonna create as in creating this on the stitches i got out with this while this tension was loose so it created this stitches that you can see that is popping that is uh popping and it's not smooth just like that the loose tension so for you to correct this loose tension what you do is just from this knot you take a screw and move a bit right you move a bit to the right whatever you're doing on this bobbin tension has to be very slight so and you have to do it carefully you just screw a bit to the right scrolling from here to the right tightens the bobbin tension but slightly and scrolling to the left losing the bobbin tension so when your bobbin tension is accurate this is the test it's gonna stand like this and if it's too tight also it's still gonna stand like this but if it's loose it's gonna be dropping when your bobbin tension is too loose it's pocky as in it's popping on the reverse side and just like this just like you have it this too loose bobbin tension and on the right side also it's it's just like i said it's a tug of war between the 
upper thread and the lower thread which is the bobbin thread so it still brings up the upper thread and at times it's worth it's uh, gathering it skips so while chances are that if your stitches are skipping are uh, skipping and it's not staying you should check your bobbin if it's right it's if it has the right tension and your fabric also determines can you see how the stitches came out here and it was really really uh uh, puckering hair but here it's not that because this is a hard fabric like a chinos and this is a very light fabric so you also adjust your from your stitch a selector when you're stitching light fabric like this it's advisable you use number two from your stitch selector and when you are stitching hard fabric like this it's advisable you use three the other the fabric yes the other you go and before i forget when you before you start selecting your uh correcting or setting your tension stitches you have to make sure that you're using a new thread and that your machine is properly threaded if you don't know how to thread your machine properly I have a video to that effect. I'll drop it in the description box below. So you know you have to thread your machine properly and make sure that you're using the new foot. And you also check from your uh, stitch selector that you're using the right stitches for the right fabric and also using the right needle for the right fabric here. That is so, so good. And you have a case here. Then I have a last case here. I have the... So this is my tension disc. You discover yours from your machine. So like I have it right now, this is the appropriate tension uh, selection from this tension disc. But by the time I move to the right, it tightens the tension. You have to discover how yours work on your machine. This way I'm moving tightens the tension, tightens the tension. And by the, by the time the tension is too tight and I did my stitches, this is what I came out with. This tug of war will make sure that, can you see how it's, it is, it's hazy, as in, it will be really tight, like they are fighting, and the upper thread is gonna draw up the lower thread, just like you can see that the white red thread is really, really coming, popping up. Yes, because the tension was too, too high. So to correct this, you just reduce your tension from the tension mix a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you also make sure that you select the right stitches for the right type of fabric. Yeah, so that's that. Then the last scenario is the sweet one that you and I usually desire when we are stitching, whereby the tension, I have my tension right now, okay, and I have my oh, bobbin tension, okay, and I'll just stitch and it's gonna come out very well. By the time the lower tension from the bobbin, it's okay. And the upper tension, you make sure it's okay. You just make sure that you draw the two threads to the back so that there'll be no pickup on your stitches. And you have nice stitches on both sides. So you just test before you start stitching. You just carefully test and pick like six stitches or thereabouts and be sure your stitches are coming out well. Just like so, yeah. And if you think you've tried all these correction tips and you're still having challenges, please do check if your machine is properly threaded. And if not, you can check uh, my sewing below. Uh, uh, you can watch my video below on how to thread the machine. And also check if there are no depths on your machine. Clean up your machine because depths can also cause incorrect stitches. And if all these are been done and you're still having challenges, please don't forget to consult a machine repair expert. And that's it. If this tutorial has been helpful to you, please don't forget to like, like, it's not too serious, share, and do it. So I'll see you in another interesting video. I've been researching. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.